ask, um, are you hopeful? My answer is hope is a sign of despair. We don't need hope unless there is despair. We are here, I think, to be conscious elements of the consciousness, which is the universe, translating that consciousness into well-being. If we, if we grasp it, if we recognize it's right, for that we need a new mindset. With that we need the old mindset, the, what Deepak is talking about, rediscovered and re-embraced. Then we can together move forward and create the kind of world that we were meant to create because this is not an indifferent universe, not a chance universe. It is here to move toward higher and higher levels of evolution, diversity, but also integration, choice among the many elements that make available ever more paths opening for us. But whatever that infinite mystery is, whatever that infinite mystery is, it is intellectually, scientifically, philosophically incomprehensible to pretend even that we can scientifically understand that mystery is huge arrogance. We are now told by science that there are two trillion galaxies, that there are 700 sextillion stars, that are there are, might be uncountable trillions of planets in maybe 60 billion habitable planets in just the Milky Way galaxy. And so in this entire scheme of things, planet Earth is not even a speck of or a grain of sand in all the beaches of the universe. And on that grain of sand is a species called Homo sapiens, self-described uh, as the wise ones, is uh, going to save the universe. Uh, it's the height of hubris and arrogance. The funny thing about projection, we can actually see ourselves. We are a projection. We are a projection, the holographic reality and this holographic reality of the conscious create another holographic reality or metaverse that we can experience reality before we create what we say oh where we create the reality physically which is also a holographic reality and the last is surrender to the divine incomprehensible irreducible formless infinite wondrous mystery that we are. If we do that and we understand that differentiation is not separation, that diversity is in fact the advantage to our collective creativity at the moment, then we have a solution.